Hello everyone and welcome to this new AutoCAD 2019 video tutorial. So we've previously seen 3D modeling and now I will be introducing you to the concept of UCS which stands for User Coordinate System. So when you have a drawing in AutoCAD you're set up with your UCS world which is your origin which is the that's your global UCS. Um, why would you want to change that? Very simple. Let's say if you're working on a 2D drawing, uh, let's let's suppose that this feature here. Uh, if I use the rotate command, uh, then. So let us this. If we suppose that my feature is at an angle and I would like to um, sketch all the features in it, it will be a bit awkward because if I have my ortho mode on, I try to draw lines from here. My lines come down vertically and not um, perpendicular to it, so it becomes a bit more complicated. So let's say that in that case would be changing our origin. So if we go here on UCS, now we can change the placement of our origin and now the direction of our set axis. We can turn off our ortho mode and type in clicking this axis and now it's asking us for the placement of our y axis. So right now our UCS has changed, so when I draw a line from here, I turn my ortho mode on. That's my vertical and that's my horizontal. So as you can see if I click on top everything has rotated so now I'm drawing aligned my plane has aligned is y and x axis to the um, y and x axis of the object so it becomes a lot easier to sketch that way um, okay so now you may be wondering how do I get back to my original UCS very simple right now we're on on an unnamed UCS that we created. So if I go back to world and click on top again, so you can see our UCS has gone back to normal. And why else would we want to use this? So let's say, for instance, if I go to my front view and I try to draw a circle, say here, it's not drawing the circle on this plane. And if we look at the top, it's drawing it this plane so we would have to draw it and then rotate it we may not want to do that so if we go here where it says world we can after swapping the view we can say okay I want my UCS on the front so that rotates my origin is exactly the same my origin has not changed as you can see, my origin is still there, where it was, but it has rotated the x-way plane 90 degrees. So, when I'm looking at the top, I can now sketch in this direction. So you can select any of them. So I'll go back to world, which was my original one. It's my top view. Okay, so... How can I use this feature? So I'll guide you through. First, here you choose whether you want to show the UCS icon, which is here, or whether you want to hide it. I'll leave it as default. I like to have this clear when it comes to Sketch. That way, when you're rotating in 3D, you can still keep track of what your X, Y, and Z are. 
here you can use whether you want to rotate um, your um, X, Y, and Z axis around. So let's say, for instance, if I wanted to rotate around my X axis, then the whole X, Y plane would be rotated 90 degrees. So let's say, set set axis. If I now go here, now as you can see, I can choose where where I want to I'm rotating my UCS around the Z axis and I can choose in what direction I want my Y axis to go if I want it to go up, if I want it to go down or if I want it to go in the opposite direction or I can do the same, I can rotate my plane around the Y axis so now I can choose in what direction X and Y go sorry X and Z go or I can do the opposite I can do Z and then I can rotate. I can choose where I want X and Y to go. So we've seen these and we've seen how to change them to front, bottom, left. Um, what they both have in common is that they keep the origin exactly at the same place, it just rotates the X wave plane around. So this other option allows you to to switch the coordinates to your view. So let's say if I'm looking at my drone from this perspective and I wanted my UCS aligned with it, then I could just choose this option. And now as you can see, my plane is perpendicular to my view, but it's at an angle on everything else. I'll go back to my UCS world simply by expanding the tab and going back to world. The other option is you can, for example, align your UCS to an object. So select an object and then it will align it to it. Or you can align it to a face. So for example, say, okay, I want my UCS aligned to this face. And your ECS is aligned to that face, so you can sketch on it freely. Um, I'll go back to world again. So, this one is called origin. All it does, it basically moves your origin point around to wherever. Um, you want but keeps your x, y and z axis intact. So the axes are exactly the same place. But I've just moved the uh, the origin point. This option just above right above it, UCS. Does exactly the same thing, but it also lets you select where you want your x, y and z axis. So I can say okay I want my axis to go in where y was have one y going where x was as you can see it has now swapped it so that's x that's y go back um you can also choose a three point axis so it's almost identical to the one that I've just shown you select where your origin point is um, you select your X, your Y, and it does it for you. Um, the last one, then my favorite is Z axis vector, and only one working in 3D. So when I'm working on 3D, I like to use this one because it simply allows you to choose where you want to place your origin. So let's say if I want to place it here, place it there, and now. You just have to give AutoCAD one input where you want Z to go. So wherever Z goes, X and Y will be perpendicular to it. So it's a very simple way to create a plane. So this option here, ECS named ECS, allows you to um, create no um, no UCS. Um, save them. So 
this one is unnamed. Um, I can rename it and call it, um, let's say, um, set one. Click on OK. And as you can see, it's on my list as set one. So it's safe because if you create, if you don't name it every time you create an ECS, that ECS replaces the name unnamed. So by creating Z1, it will stay there. If I go back to world, by clicking on world, now I'm back there. Now if I expand the tab, my Z1 is still there. So I can go back to it to sketch. So this is a very powerful tool when it comes to sketching. Um, I think that should be clear for now. It will become more intuitive um, once you get to use it in your drawings. Um, just a bit of practice. Um, you will be more comfortable using it. So this will be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.